examined the patient on the different eye movements, we can actually incorporate these movements in the home program, home exercise program or the therapy session. For example, the smooth pursuit. We could have the patient carry a piece of paper with the word written on it. So just a second. Like here, for example, we have the word great. And we could have the patient hold it at an arm's length and then do the smooth pursuit where the patient holds their head still and move the arm slowly to the right and left and keep the eyes looking at the word. The goal is to maintain clear vision of the written word and we observe the patient's eyes. Now they are moving in smooth pursuit. Okay, we will discuss modifying those different exercises, but let's mention all of them first. After that, we will do the saccades. With the saccades, we could have two pieces of paper. So here we have another one, okay? And the patient could hold both at arm's length in both arms at some distance uh, away. And then they could jump their eyes from one word to the other. And the goal is to see the words clearly, okay? We look at the eyes, this is saccade. Good. After that, we move to VOR uh, movements. So the first one is the VOR, where we hold the eyes fixed at the uh, target and move the head slowly to the right and left. So here we are activating the VOR in maintaining fixed eyes on the target. And we could do the movement slowly and gradually increase the speed. Okay. And we could do it in the up down direction. After that, we could do the VOR cancellation, where we need to move the eyes and the head together with the word. So you move the word and the head and the eyes, okay? So this is one way to do VOR cancellation. The other version of VOR cancellation is to move the head and the eyes out of sync. So the head moves to the right and the arm or the hand moves to the left, okay? And the whole time we're trying to maintain clear vision of the target.